and welcome to my first video dealing with the latest releases of hot games, tutorials for what you want um, and for what I want, um, and with some focus on Minecraft and Heroes of the New Earth. Um, today we're going to be dealing with the basics, um, the tutorial of Heroes of New Earth. Uh, the first things that you should do when you log on um, and explain some of the concept and um, idea about Heroes of New Earth. So today we're dealing with the basics and this will hopefully lead on to spotlighting heroes, finding out their strengths and weaknesses, um, using gold to buy them if this goes well, um, and then working on some basic gameplay, um, exploring the use of the courier and the shop more because today's tutorial won't go over it and the tutorial that Heroes of New Earth and S2 Games provides doesn't go into that adequately. Um, and we'll go into that, um, as well as what makes good on player, some good gameplay, and some bad gameplay. I'll play some games where I don't do too well, um, and maybe you'll find it entertaining, but you'll learn not to make the same mistakes as I do. So you log on and you're excited. The first thing you want to do is you click this big play now thing, because it's the obvious thing to do. Um, and you have no idea what this means. So you might click solo matchmaking. And I would advise that you don't do that straight away. Because you'll be launched into a competitive game and people will often raid you. The whole community aren't always the nicest of people. Um, and so you've got to be careful. So what you need to do is click this new to Hong play tutorial. This is not big enough in my opinion. In my opinion it should be right there at the front of the screen. Um, there should be some code which means that if you're a new player that's the first thing that comes up. Because it gives you a good grounding in the game. It doesn't give you enough. You need to practice and work out how to play the game properly. Um, but you need to you need to click this. Um, do, do, do not click this yet. And after the tutorial, after we actually watch through it, I will show you what you should do after this. And it's not to play here. It's to go into public games. And I'll tell you that in a minute. I'm not going to show you all of the tutorial. There are some bits that um, will just be boring if you watch it through, and you need to do it yourself. So I've just taught the, the bits that I find most appropriate and most important, and I'll edit out the other bits. So click that, and yes, you would like to visit the tutorial. So when the S2 Games Gorilla face gets out of the way, I'll have a look at this. So when you start your basic account, um, when you get to level 5, you become a verified account. Um, you get more gold, you get more silver when you win matches. You'll find that you have an MMR. And this is your matchmaking rating. Uh, this is important because it shows how well, how good you are against other players. And you'll find some players who have played 600 games at 1,200, and some players who have played 300 games at 1,600. It depends on their skill, if they've been unlucky, people have disconnected, all that. all that. And hopefully we can get you up to 1,600 after many of these different series. So when you get the tutorial loaded up, which takes some time depending on the speed of your computer, um, click Start for tutor Full Tutorial. Sorry, The items and shopping has been on standby for as long as I can remember, and it doesn't actually, it's not actually covered in part of this tutorial, so we'll need to do that separately in a later episode. So if you click it, usually you have this nice young lady's voice which describes what's going to happen. I don't have that because S2 games have a couple of bugs which don't work in favour of the Mac, which is what I'm using today. It's not particularly bad. Um, I don't need to have her voice. Um, sometimes she's grating. Other times she's pretty useful, um, which is just nice having someone to talk to more than anything else. So this is the basic concept of the game. I've got th couple of lanes and you need to get experience to progress and kill the towers and the barracks as part of your team. As I was saying that the Mac bug means that I can't hear most of the sounds that are going on which is a little bit irritating but S2 work hard to try and bring out a product that is good and um, we don't have, well I don't have anything particularly against it. Um, I know that, that it's difficult in what they must do. Um, some people are angry but there's, there's no need to be. So now you've got your character, you'll always start with Pyromancer. He's a 
good, powerful, intelligence hero, Carrie. Right. And he makes Let's get to it. lovely, lovely sounds. Ashes to ashes. Ashes to ashes, indeed. The tutorial is pretty good. It tells you how to move and attack. You just attack by right clicking on something that you want to attack. But also, your hero will also auto attack. Um, they're clever, they're clever little, clever little dudes and lasses. Um, they know what to do, uh, especially when they're being attacked. So you earn gold when creeps die. And you need to level up your skills. Um, leveling up your skills is an art. Some skills are better leveled up than others. Um, if it was me, I wouldn't have leveled Phoenix Wave. I would have gone to Fervor with Pyromancer because it's better for harassing and heroes with. But for the for the product of this tutorial, it'll be okay. Now I want you to get used to using the Q W E and R key. Um, this is what will control your hero's skills. You've got Q W E and R. And Q and left click sends out his first skill, which in this case destroys the enemy warlocks. It's good that you get to use that and get to you and get used to that because it's become very useful um, in team fights um, later on when we start playing competitively against other players. Now this next montage for better word, in my opinion, is a little bit a little bit brutal. You have level twenty fives and there's level ones. And it's just mean, it's just a massacre. But I suppose it's makes the consumption of the information a little bit more palatable. Um, but really, it's just me. Look at them, they don't even stand a chance. It's just horrible. So we're going to go rest in the fountain, which gives very quick health regeneration and mana regeneration. So here's a shop. Um, you can interact with the shop by right-clicking on it. And it usually comes up with a menu, um, but you can also press B in or out of the fountain, and you can buy items. If you buy an item while you're out of the fountain, it will go in your stash. If you buy an item while it's in your while you're in the fountain, it will come straight into your inventory. As I told you, the tutorial for buying is not ready yet. Um, I have no information when it will be, but it's not necessary. We'll go through it, and it, if you're intuitive, you'll work it out for yourself as well. As the lady says, uh, killing enemy heroes is the fastest way to earn gold experience. It's also useful because you will put them out of commission. The higher the level they are, the longer they will stay dead for, and the more gold they will lose. At level 1, you lose about 90 gold for a death. At level 25, you might lose a couple of thousand of gold for a death. Um, it's not only beneficial for you, but it also means that they don't get any farm or experience while they're dead. Which means that you can be out leveling them and when you come to fight next, the fight will be even easier. Tower is another important of the game, important component of the game, and they need to be destroyed. If you've played LOL or Dota, then the towers here are much more powerful, much harder to hit, and they do more damage. So we'll follow the creep wave. Your creep wave consists of, to begin with, three soldiers and an archer. Or if you're on the hellborn, um, three imps and a wolf. Now, this is the most important part. Um, all about last hitting. If you press H and hold it, or move from side to side like this, then you don't attack the creeps. If I just press and hold H, I'm not attacking them, which means that I can line up and last hit that creep with ease and precision. This is also useful because when you're laning against an enemy hero, you want to deny, as you just saw there. Denying heroes limits the amount of experience they get from that creep kill, but it also means they don't get any gold because they don't last hit, they don't get gold. And pressing H is a useful, useful tool because you need to harass them by hitting them a few times, chucking them a few spells, hit the enemy creeps, last hit them so you get gold and more experience, and also deny your creeps. 
so that you don't push the lane too far away and that you limit the amount of experience they get so you outlevel them. And this is a skill that takes time to master and each hero attacks at a different speed and has different strengths. So it's difficult to work out exactly when how fast their uh, attacking animation is. So it might take a few times, it might take a few waves for you to get this skill mastered. So I'm pressing H. I'm going to deny this little, this little man here, and I do. And we're going to get him, and I do. And we'll get him as well. So now the creep wave is coming this way, so you have the advantage. So I've I've got two out of two. Now the tower's attacking is a little bit more difficult, but it doesn't matter. Indeed. Wise words from Pyromancer. There we go. So we landed the three creep kills that are necessary. It's quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing, um, but press the H key makes it much simpler. Um, when you, once you've worked out how quickly it takes, um, how quickly his rhythm is, then it's much easier to creep kill. And this is the most important aspect of the game. If you don't have any creep kills, if you're not getting the 45 gold, um, then you're not going to buy items which increase your stat, which means you can kill enemy heroes, which, you gain some more, which means you gain more experience and gold faster. So this is very, very crucial to the whole working of the game. And people will get annoyed if you don't know how to farm correctly. So if you don't get this straight away, come back and do the tutorial again. I know it's a pain, but come back and do it again. Or play a red match and just practice hitting those creeps. Just practice it. At the end of the day, Hon is like any other game, and it just takes practice to get better. So now we see Dark Ladies attacking me, and she's doing a lot of damage. Because I'm not particularly weak, that's strong yet. You notice that my creeps are attacking her because she attacked me. And because I attacked her, her creeps are attacking me. The creeps are quite intuitive, and they will attack to defend their hero. But I got a kill. Which is good. And now we need to press on to try and take this tower. So I'm just attacking them as fast as I can so that we have as many creeps as full health to take down this tower. This tower hits hard if you're not 25. If you're level 1 to 6, it's dangerous attacking a tower. Um, I would not recommend it when you've got another enemy here. Thank you, game. I would not recommend attempting to take a tower when you've got um, an enemy hero underneath, um, especially if you're both the same level. Um, it's, just, it's just not a wise move to make. Um, so there we go, we killed her again because we're completely out of Eat a tree to get some health. It's useful. This is all too tall, rooms of the blind. very fast because of my use of further. Um, towers, last hitting towers is the same as last hitting heroes. If you last hit the tower, you, you, you get bonus. You get bonus gold. If your team gets 240, you get double that, plus a little bit more for last hitting. And it's the same with barracks and these buildings there, which we'll see in a second. Last hitting heroes is very important. Um, and you will find hero players that are perfect, their heroes are perfect at stealing your kills. You've worked hard, risked your neck, and then some other hero will come and steal that kill. If they're doing that, just add them to your band list, which we'll go through next time. Because that can be really, really irritating. Um, and some people just revel in it. Um, because they don't have the skills to take on a hero for themselves. Um, and you don't want to play with them again. The so you don't have to. The game doesn't doesn't make you have to. The Dark Lady it's just not it's just never learns. And you'll see that as my number of kills go up without having a death, five, I get more and more Titles. So, Serial Killer, Ultimate Warrior, Legendary. 
and these increase all the way up to 15 kills without having a death to break up those kills. As soon as you have a death, those names reset. Um, and if you get to if you get to immortal, which is number 15, you get bonus silver at the end of the game, and you get bonus um, experience as well. So it's useful. Um, it's useful to it's useful to try and get that. It's fair, it's not it's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. You have to be able to read the game well, um, and also have um, a large amount of luck. Really. So this is Dark Lady, she doesn't know what she's doing. And look, I've already got 4,000 gold. And that's only from 3 towers and a couple, fewer, 7 kids. I shouldn't say a couple. Um, and the most expensive item that you will get when you press B, normally you won't have this error, but this from the tutorial it has, um, is the most expensive item is 3,400. And this is part of only part um, of a recipe and the the item that you are trying to build with that item is a couple that um, will cost about 6,000 so you, know, you need to save up your gold I could have bought half of that item already and then I can save up for the other half of the recipe and this is how the game works you buy items uh, and then you increase um, what they can be used for no, I was going to tell you about. So there we go. I last hit that um, meat ball. It's a rather disgusting uh, incarnation, um, and I got some gold for it. It's the same with the barracks um, and any of these other shrines in the buildings. Here. Dark Lady just doesn't learn, so we're going to kill her. Okay. Champion of North. So I've got nine kills. And you'll see that I've destroyed the barracks. Our creeps are better. These guys have more health, um, they do more damage compared to our ordinary creeps, which I can't show you because they're all dead. And they're much better for soaking up damage, attacking these final towers, and um, keeping other heroes pinned down because they have other heroes will have to sit here and try and kill them before they do any damage to the base. Now, we're going to be sneaky and. Oh no, I couldn't kill them. But it doesn't matter, because we won. Uh, if you've played Dota or LoL, then you'll know that the animations are often a bit lackluster in those games. I think the Hon winning animation is one of the best. I think this is beautiful, with the tree that comes out and this ravaged earth. Kind of grows, it's nice grass and plants and stuff. It's nice, it looks good. Um, and it gives you kind of sense of satisfaction. Yeah, we conquered, we conquered darkness. Or if you're the if you're the Hellborn and attack the Legion, um, Malthus, the demon, spawns out of the tree. Um, and that's satisfying as well. So when you finish, this is the first thing you'll be confronted by. Um, it will list all the players' names, three to five, depending on which match you're playing. Uh, which map even, and your experience per minute and gold per minute, and this is important. And you should compare with other heroes and see see what happens. Um, your kill death assist ratio is useful, but this is much more in interesting because if this isn't changing over a course of ten matches, if it's staying similar, you've got to ask yourself why. It's probably to do something with your deaths or the lack of kills and the lack of assists um, and the lack of farm. So you need to watch this. Um, the higher gold per minute means you get better items, which means you get more kills, which helps your experience per minute. So it's useful to try and increase this. If you're a carry, you're looking between anywhere to 400 to 500 plus gold per minute. Um, otherwise, you're not really doing your job pro properly. Um, if you're support, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if your gold's 100 per minute, as long as you're keeping people um, tied up um, or keeping your teammates healed but we'll come to that in a later episode. You won't have this error, match has not been submitted yet, um, thing, um, unless something's gone horribly wrong with the matchmaking system. So now you've finished that, you feel enthralled. You think, now I'm stuck in. So you might click play now, because that's what the game would think you should do.
and you might click solo matchmaking, which is also pretty intuitive. But I would say don't do that. The reason is um, you will still not have an adequate grounding in Heroes of New Earth to be able to play properly. The tutorial doesn't give you the full arsenal um, that you need. You need to go and practice. And if you go to solo matchmaking, you play with people who are trying to increase their matchmaking rating here, and you balls it up, um, because undoubtedly you haven't played the game before, you haven't played a competitive match, you will. People get annoyed, understandably. So don't play that yet. Hold off. We'll go to public game. Refresh the list. And there are always tons of games going on here. And there are two types. Green Star or Red Star. Green Star means that you have your own... It has another matchmaking rating sort of system. And your MMR will go up and down depending on how if you win or lose your green matches. So it's not as... Compa but people don't really pay attention to it as they do with this one here. So you can play those. Even better is these red games. They're official, no stats. So it doesn't matter if you die 20 times, a thousand times. Or if your whole team leaves you. You won't get any lever percentage, which you would get if you played in the matchmaking system over here. Um, and that means that sometimes you can't play games until you've played a certain number of public games or it freezes you out for a few days. Um, but it's to ensure that you don't have people who die a few times within 10 minutes and leave because that screws up the rest of the game um, for the other players. Um, but it doesn't matter in these red matches. Um, and it's a good place to learn. So you want to find somewhere 5 versus 5 noob, probably, is the best place, or new players. 5 versus 5 all welcome, probably has some high MMR people there game as well. When it says mid wars, it's add another complication where everyone is mid, and you don't want to do that yet. You want to go for unnamed newbies game would be good, or only noobs, no stat. Okay, this would be a perfect game. Um, there are no additional options particularly, um, and it's in the Forest of Calvadel, which you want to play. It's the five versus five map that we just showed you on the tutorial, um, and it's a good place. You play 10, 15, 20 of those. Play a couple of heroes, three or four maybe. Find a couple that you really like, and then play a few green matches. Try and get your MMR up. If you find you've got an affinity with one hero, play them some more. And once you've done that, spend a couple of days, a week. However long you feel that it takes for you to get confident. Because once you've got the confidence and the skills of reading the game, then you can go and play. Now I create a new account so that we can kind of level up together. We can play, um, and the, I will come and play with you if you want me to. Um, my other account, which has a lot of heroes unlocked, um, I play with some of my friends who I will ask to come and play with us. Um, the next episode, I'm going to show you on some good game playing styles. I'll introduce the courier, um, and I'll show you what you should do to read the game using your mini map things like that. Um, and then I'll show you what not to do, which is perhaps more important. Um, and so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, uh, the basics of Heroes of New Earth. Um, I recommend that you do come and try it out. Um, please feel free to add me. Uh, my name is Feast of Thrones. Uh, the YouTube channel is Feast on Thrones. But um, S2 games don't allow those extra two characters um, so Feast Thrones will have to do um, add, me as a, add me as a bit buddy, you can just type my name in here I will always accept um, and we can go and play games together and hopefully get everyone kitted out and getting ready, climbing that MMR ladder um, so next episode will be looking at some good game playing strategies and using the choreo, which is well worth, um, skills well worth knowing. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this one. It hasn't been the most interesting because it's been a bit technical, um, but the others will hopefully be more entertaining. Um, I'll try and throw in some witty comments in there. Um, so please like, favourite, um, 
subscribe if you want to know how to play Heroes of New Earth better. Um, if you know how to play Heroes of New Earth, then subscribe anyway. Um, we'll have a laugh. You can critique me and tell me what a rubbish player I am. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, take care everyone, and hopefully see you soon.